This is my first time, my first attempt at stippling. Um, I bought this shield, 9mm, approximately three years ago. And over the course of those three years, this area here, the front strap and the back area, just to me seems like it's become slippery. Uh, I noticed it the other day when I went out shooting and grasping the gun, pulling it in and out of the holster. Uh, I, I, it just doesn't have the same texture as it did. So I am going to stipple the back part here, not so much the side, and then the front to see if I can regain that, that texture I'm looking for. Uh, just so we get started, empty chamber, empty magazine, the gun is safety checked, uh, checked, and so we're ready to go. Uh, once I get started with the stippling, I'll set the camera up so you can see kind of how I'm doing things and then I'll come back to uh, the finished product. I went through and I stippled the back strap of my shield and you can see the the little marks here. Excuse for the uh, autofocus. There you go. There's a good shot of it. I did the back strap. Um, after placing the slide back on and trying it, I'm going to continue with this side, seeing how I'm right-handed. I may stipple this area, or I may just continue and do the whole area, both sides, which I think I'm going to do anyway. Uh, made a vast improvement on gripping the gun. Very, very, very big difference. I'll show you the front strap. The stippling that was done there and uh, again I'm only doing this because I felt that the factory stippling had become smooth and slippery so I'll finish up show you the finished product and we'll go from there I also did a little bit of the stippling on my extended mag it'll focus I did some here on the front and also on the rear. So when that magazine is in there, I, uh, I have the same effect. Okay, I'll be back with the finished product. I have the gun all done. The stippling's been done on the front strap, just below the uh, trigger guard. On my extended mag, just uh, on those areas where the factory stippling is back strap I ended up doing the whole back strap sides and all um, with a soldering iron and I'm telling you it does not take much to start melting this uh, polymer so if you plan on doing this just for the safety people the weapon is empty no rounds in the magazine around in the chamber just so I know you see me hanging on to the, the barrel of my gun but it's more just so I can show you all what I what I did do uh, very aggressive very uh, made a big difference on me being able to hold my my sidearm now my my handgun my everyday carry um, I don't know if it was just my age that I'm starting to get to where my hands are feel slippery or whatnot, but the gun started to slide in my hand and uh, I didn't care for that. And instead of going out and buying uh, some grips for the gun, I thought I'd try the stippling out for what it cost me. Uh, one polo shirt because I did rest uh, the frame on my belly as I was doing the stippling. And my soldering iron caught a hold of the uh, shirt. Outside of that, it cost me absolutely nothing. A big shout out to a friend of mine, Mike Perez, for showing me his handguns that he did the stippling and the caution that he gave me as far as only barely touching the, the polymer for a second, not burning through. At any rate, hopefully this uh, will help anybody else that wants to try it. Um, I do have, you can see my sights, they are uh, fiber optic sights. Uh, made a big difference also. At any rate, enjoy yourselves. Please be careful. When you work with a handgun, make sure it's unloaded. 
Have a great day.